Please be aware that the comments, views, opinions shared on this podcast are not meant to diagnose a medical problem and or legal problem. If you do have a medical problem or legal problem, kindly contact a professional. Welcome to An Apple A Day, a podcast, a resource, a community. Share your experiences and learn from others as we overcome barriers and learn to live a happy, healthy life with a disability. Welcome to the community. Here's your host, Jimmy Apple. Hey, that's me. How are you? I'm Jimmy Apple. I'm your host for an apple a day. Hey, guys, I haven't seen you in, wow, it's over a month. How you feeling? You feeling good? You feeling strong? You feeling healthy? You feeling better than you did yesterday? You feeling better than you did a month ago, I hope? <laughs> you're doing everything you're supposed to be doing, I hope. You're taking your medication, you're going to your doctors, you're going to your therapist, you're doing your exercises. Excellent. You can't ask for anything better than that. Boy, do I owe you guys an apology. It's been one heck of a month. One heck of a month. It started out, if you remember, I told you we were moving into a new recording space, and that didn't work out because the place had a fire in it. And, and after that, it seemed like every day after that day, there was another fire alarm pulled, and there was fire trucks coming every day. There was no way we could do it. So that didn't work out. Then I set up a space, a private space, a closed space, and I hook up my board, and I'm all ready to go, ready to record the podcast and my board fries. So then I have to find a new board, and finding a new board in Wappinger Falls, New York, is not the easiest thing in the world. So I had to send to a distributor to have a new, have the distributor send me a new board. That was a mess. I finally get the new board in, and I'm transferred one day from my wheelchair, believe it or not, to the commode, the toilet, if you will. And I get dizzy, and I pass out. And my wife comes in, and she helping me to to get up and I, I I was just out of it totally completely out of it and she takes my blood pressure my blood pressure is 40 over 20 my blood sugar is down below 60 she called an ambulance thank god she did the ambulance comes they get me into the ambulance they start an IV in the ambulance which is a whole other story and I go to the hospital and they keep me in the hospital for a few days and they run a whole battery of tests and find out it's a nerve problem caused by my medication that has to be adjusted again. And now, this is medication I've been on for a while, but they had to readjust my medication. And I don't think that was the answer, but they're the doctors. So I did what they said. Oh, here we are. Here we are in a new space. I got the board set up yesterday and I got it all fired up today. And here we are. So I'm giving you a slice of the apple because I have a good one set up for you for tomorrow, for Friday. We're going to make up for the month. Over the next week, we're going to make up for the month. We may have a a podcast every day for the next week, and we're going to discuss everything. One thing, one thing I noticed, and I noticed this while I was in the hospital, and I've seen it before, and I'm sure you've seen it before, in doctor's offices or out in public somewhere, when there's a disabled person, and they're usually with a member of their family, their spouse, you know, maybe their kids, their mother, father, whoever. You know, anyone that knows me for any length of time or has listened to me on the podcast yet knows that I get seriously pissed off when people treat us differently because we're disabled. We're disabled, yes, and we have different needs, maybe some special needs here and there, but we're still people and just treat us like people, right? One thing I seen, and I guess it just played on my head because I seen so much of it, especially being in the hospital, is people who use their disability to take advantage of others. I'm sure you've seen it. Well, we're going to discuss that tomorrow. That's something that that disgusts me, really. And that makes it bad for all the rest of us. And it makes it harder on the people that do try to help us. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about a couple of other things tomorrow. So we got a really good podcast set up for tomorrow. I don't want you to miss it. I'm so glad to be back with you guys. So glad you don't know. And I just want to remind you of one thing and Always, please always remember this, no matter what, things can always be worse, no matter what. Right now, somewhere, there's a person wishing that they had what you had, that they were in your position, because it would be a step up for them. 
Remember that. So things can always be worse. Never believe you hit rock bottom because you're not at rock bottom, my friends. You're not. So keep the faith and Thanks again for coming back. Thanks again for listening here at An Apple a Day. And I promise you, I will be talking to you tomorrow. This is Jimmy Apple. Have a good night. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Thanks for listening to An Apple a Day with Jimmy Apple, your gateway to a happy, healthy life. Join our community at www.famousapple.com. See you next time.